Hi, this is Mary Kissel from the Davis County Audubon Society, and we're going to wrap up Bird is the Word with a third of our summer warblers, the Northern Parallel. The Northern Parula, or as some people call it, the Northern Perula, and I've called it both during my lifetime, is one of the first warblers to return in the spring to Davis County. I've seen them as early as like March 30th, but it's usually, I hear it for a couple of days before I'm actually able to spot them. Before the species re received that name, it had a few other names that we're going to be talking about. For example, John James Audubon and Alexander Wilson both called it the Blue Yellowback Warbler. They are very small. They're only four and a half inches long and have very short tails. They have a blue back a yellow throat breast with an olive patch on the back. Now the males have a very distinctive chestnut band on their throat. Both sexes will have wing bars. Now the female, as so often happens, is a, a paler, you don't see the chestnut band, so that's when that olive patch on the back comes in handy so you can distinguish it from other, other yellow-throated type warblers, like or the female common th yellow throat we talked about last week. Northern parallels will eat insects and spiders, and they can hang upside down like a Carolina chickadee when searching for food. No wonder, another early name for the parallel was Finch Creeper by Mark Catesby. I was really fascinated to learn about parallel nests. They are usually in a hanging clump of Spanish moss, beard moss, or lace lichen. The need for moss means there are several states in the eastern United States that don't have, they have large sections of their states where you, you don't find parallels, especially during breeding season. Mainly up in the upper Midwest, like Michigan, uh, eastern Iowa, places like that. They tend to be put at the end of a branch as high as 100 feet above the ground, making them difficult to study. Females do most of the nest building, hollowing out the moss with, uh, so they can create a side entrance and a cup. Now this cavity is lined with hair or fine grasses and pine needles. They're only about uh, three inches across and two inches deep. Nest building takes about four days. Where they can't find moss, parallels may make hanging nests from other materials or place a nest inside river debris that's been trapped high in branches during a flood. No wonder we have so many parallels in Davis County. They lay two to seven white to creamy white speckled eggs with red, brown, purple, or gray. Males will do most of the feeding of the young. Now, the parula is one of those birds that their, their song goes up in the air, like zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-Y-E-Z-